to some politics now. The Labour Party's presidential candidate, Peter Obi, has officially unveiled Yusuf Dati Babahmed as his running mate for the 2023 elections. The unveiling took place earlier today in Abuja. Mr. Obi said Mr. Babahmed was eminently qualified to bring his private sector and academic achievements to bear in the drive to rescue Nigeria from the primitive politics of ethnicity. Mr. Obi added that the party will anchor its manifesto in the coming days on the 17 goals of sustainable development goals. Mr. Baba Ahmed is the proprietor of Bayes University in Abuja and one-time senator representing Kaduna North in the National Assembly. Senator Baba Ahmed's announcement is coming barely 24 hours after the Director General Peter Obi campaign organization Donyo Kupe announced his withdrawal as the vice presidential candidate of the party. We have joining us at this time for more on this political move the Director General Center for Credible Leadership and Citizens Awareness, Wambo Gabriel, who joins us live from Abuja. Well, as it is, many people believe that uh, Peter Obi has become real popular on social media, among young people, but also on one hand, there are talks about uh, lack of structure. Would uh, the emergence of uh, uh, Dati Baba Ahmed at this time provide that link? Thank you so much. Uh, uh, I think uh, it is evident that um, uh, the Labour Party has broken uh, a particular jinx that uh, a lot of Nigerians have been crying about. And that is to ensure that um, every political party, at least as it affects Nigeria in 2023, sees in um, candidates that uh, have uh, a balance in terms of uh, uh, religious, um, uh, the, the religion, the major religions we have in Nigeria, and that is um, Muslim and uh, Christianity, you know. And then uh, we have uh, a situation where uh, some political parties are vying for uh, the Muslim Muslim ticket. You also have the ones that have decided to go the Muslim and uh, Christian ticket. I think that will give for equity and balance. Then the Labour Party, as it were, has decided to balance it all by getting uh, persons that are, can be classified as youth. That is uh, Senator Baba Ahmed, uh, who is a 46-year-old man and uh, a Northern Muslim and uh, a very astute, uh, very good politician who has served in the House of Representatives and the House of uh, uh, the Senate, respectively. And he is also uh, an educationist in terms of being the founder and the pro-chancellor of uh, Bayes University, Abuja. Uh, this is a young man who read economics uh, in the University of uh, Medugri as a first degree. He also had a master's degree in economics. So he is vast in terms of Economics, he is very vast in terms of um, a political uh, a landscape as it affects uh, the country called Nigeria. I think this is uh, well enough to balance it. So any politician who feels that uh, the Labour Party does not have uh, uh, the requisite structure, I think is playing to the gallery. Um, what did it require for Nigerians to actually coordinate properly the NSAS movement? The NSAS movement took place as if um, uh, something that was not even properly coordinated. But you see the youths that was uh, well um, spoken, you know, articulated themselves. And the thing was a very major force as it affects uh, the NSAS then. So what does it take? If the Nigerian youth have decided that they will go a particular way, I think the structure is not necessary. The structure is there already because the youth is the major force uh, as it affects um, uh, labor or uh, enforcement of anything in terms of uh, democratic dispensations.
uh, Dr. Wambu Gabriel is Director General, Center for Credible Leadership at Citizens Awareness. Thank you for sharing your submissions with us on TVC News at 7. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.